Hello everyone, is Last Epoch better than Diablo 4? A couple of weeks ago I decided to give a try to Last Epoch and I have to say that I am impressed. I'm playing currently Diablo 4 and Last Epoch and there are so many things that I'm finding in the game that I wish I have them in Diablo 4. Last Epoch combines everything we love about Diablo games and PoE. 11 hour games announced recently that they will leave early access when will release in 21 February of next year the long awaited 1.0 version of Last Epoch. In this video we take a first look at the game, what makes it good and bad and how much potential Last Epoch has. Let's start it with the story and the gameplay. The, ge the quest NPC are partially voiced and offer different dialogue options, which, whatever, have no influence on in the outcome of the quest. The story of Last Epoch revolves around the five different eras of the game World Etera. During the quest, you travel through time again and again and meet familiar NPCs in other timelines and with other motives, which makes for an, an interesting story but sometimes confusing. Unfortunately, when jumping between five zones, the waypoints as we know them from Diablo games and other zone transition, a loaded scream occurs every time. I hope they fix this. As soon as a character reaches the zone's transition area, the loading time begins, but the fight against monster, for example, continues, which can lead to strange situations. Anyone who is used to stories like Diablo 4 won't be blown away by the Lord of the Last Epoch, but in an RPG the story is rather secondary anyway. The story will take you around 50 to 20 hours if you complete all the side quests, which is recommended, is unlock additional skill points and idler slots. Jumping now for graphics and sound. Anyone who is used to graphics of Diablo 4 will have to lower the expectation a bit, but that can be neglected in an RPG just like the story. The goal is the next carrot in form of better item, with the amount of drops and the noise when unique items drop. You can tell that the developers have oriented themselves towards PoE. I have to say that Diablo 4 do it better. Blizzard knows how to make animations and how to make them fit in the gameplay. But let's be honest, Diablo is also backed by a multi-billion dollar corporation and will be pretty sad if they didn't feel better. Now we go for the time travel. This is the main subject in the game. Time travel allows a lot of really cool things in Last Epoch. It gives us this full visual spectrum that we don't see in the genre right now. We have both high and dark fantasy. For example, if you get to an ancient era, it's really colorful and there is a lot of saturation and gigantic flower and ancient beast and that contrasts heavily as you go through time. As you go to the Divine Era, there are warring gods or you get to the Imperial Era where the undead haven't taken over. There are lots of teals and necrotic energy and it's a little bit gloomier. If you get to the Ruined Era, toward the end of time, where the Void is literally trying to consume the world and take it back, that's getting to real dark fantasy. You see a lot of dark palettes there, things that you might see in Path of Exile or Diablo. It's just really cool with time travel to be able to bounce back and forth and see that contrast in real time. I love this concept and I think time travel has a lot of potential to bring great experience to player. If 11 hours take advantage of this scene, it will be easy to introduce new cycles by adding a new time era into that cycle. Who knows, we'll have a real cycle of blood. If you know what I mean, please listen to this Diablo 4. Now let's talk about classes, and this is one of the things I like most of the game. There are a total of 5 gender locked classes, Guardian, Rogue, Mage, Primalist and Acolyte to choose from. For example, in the later stage of the game, the Primalist can focus on the Animal Master, Shaman or Druid Championship, in addition to his role as a Nature Warrior, 
You will be able to select your master class when you complete a quest that you will receive when you first arrive at the end of time. I'm playing now as an acolyte and recently I had to make a decision between Lich and Necromancer. I choose the Necromancer because I always love Necromancer in Diablo and I want to check it how it works in Last Epoch. So far it's great. There are literally hundreds of vile builds and items that drop and completely change the way you can play a build. Minion and Golem don't die and you can actually have a skeleton army as a necromancer. Characters in Last Epoch always play different to skills tree and mastery choice. This means that the class play in a varied way and the developers cover pretty much all popular archetypes from RPG. This gives us more incentive to try out other class than the other RPGs we have played so far. Whatever, the great build variety only comes from the unique mechanics of the different skills which all have their own talent tree. Talking about talent tree for skills, this is our next point to mention in the video. As in the other RPGs, you can use 6 skills and distribute points in the talent tree of the various skills with each level increase. Each skill in the last epoch has its own talent tree. This results in the relative large variety of builds for your heroes. Because you only have a limited number of points that you can distribute per talent tree. This provides a lot of variety and a range of build variations. Even so players will probably copy builds from online games in the end game. So you are asking there will be season in Last Epoch? And the answer is yes, there will be seasons at some point in the future. However, in the Last Epoch they will be called Cycles. By the way, PvP current is a low priority for the developers. Now, talking about crafting system, one of the other things I love in this game. They did a great work here. You can drag them over to your forge menu and essentially shatter them into different modifiers that you can then apply to other items and weapons that are relevant to your class. It's a neat looking system and certainly a lot simpler and more satisfying than the Diablo 4 crafting system. There are so much customization inside these skill trees. Regarding drops in larger quantities drop fluid like in PoE. Luckily, Last Epoch has a special eye built in and easy to use loot filter. You fight your way through the hordes of monsters in the familiar hack and slay style with your 6 skills. Collect loot and go use them to equip your carrot to become an increasingly powerful slaughter machine. The monster slicing give us just as much fun in Diablo parts of PoE. Even if mobs are still something bugged here and there in the beta, the life points of a mob are not displayed or monsters suddenly disappear into the thin air can happen sometimes. As in the other action role-playing games, you will encounter normal monster, elite packs with various affixes and occasionally a single elite mob or mini boss. You loot crates and receive short-term buff from shrines. The shines can also drop several items, for example, and are a lot of more interesting than in Diablo 4. The items you find have significantly more volumes than in Diablo 3 or 4, for example. This can be a bit frustrating when checking all the items, but all the values are easy to understand compared to the Diablo 4. So jumping into conclusion, 11 Hour has put together a handy competitive checklist, comparing the futures of Last Epoch to Activision Blizzard's market leader Diablo 4. Diablo 4 has 5 characters classes, Last Epoch has 15. Diablo 4 contains 50 unique items, Last Epoch boasts more than 250, that's right, you hear it right, 250. Last Epoch is the RPG that Clover and the earliest members of 11 Hour wanted to play themselves. There is a lot more to Last Epoch than I could hope cover here, but for now, here are my final thoughts about the game. I really enjoy playing Diablo 4 and I'll continue to play the game, but for now, 
definitely made me realize especially how many things last epoch does it better it's crazy to think when they release the version 1.0 next year how good this game can be and i really hope that developers of diablo 4 take a look to last epoch crafting an itemization system build tree class everything everything is there all you people whining about Diablo 4 <laughs> should give it a try as well. Last Epoch is amazing RPG. I will be keeping a close eye on it over the coming months until the release of 1.0 version. The biggest proof that I'm not talking about this game just for live streams and videos is the fact I'm not now adding a section in my channel only for the Last Epoch videos. Considering that the main focus of this channel was since the beginning Diablo 4. I hope you liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and as always be happy and have fun.